It wasn't planned actually. Back then when I started at Wasabi, there were no teams, only Jumar and Dan were responsible for the UI related tasks. And I remember Avalonia was about to release a new version that had to be tested with Wasabi. I participated in the testing and that was the first time when I met with the UI guys. And a few weeks later the UI team was created and they asked me if I wanted to join. I had some WPF experience but I was definitely not an expert and I was like I just got used to how things are going at Wasabi and now I should learn again. Anyway I saw the opportunity and I said yes. Since then I know um, it was a good decision and I'm so glad that I can be in the team. They are related and also different because UI is the visual element that the user can interact with and the UX is the, the feeling, how the user feels during interacting with the UI. Developing a good UX is an interesting thing because even if you think you achieved it, you should take another look with a clear mind and you will probably have new ideas on how to improve it further. I'm understanding Bitcoin because it, it has been two years since I met with it, but still so much to learn. Yeah, it's a never ending story. My first few months were so intensive. From the others review and reviewing the others, I learned so much. And I remember in my early days, um, David was my teacher. Every time when I asked something, he stood up, went to the whiteboard and started to explain like a professor at the university. And after I joined the UI team, I had to learn Avalonia. So I asked them every time when I was curious about something, how it was working. And there was none of them that he couldn't have explained. One of the most important thing I love about working here is Wasabi is so innovative. We are always open to new techniques. We are always aiming to use the most recent ones. Um, it can be learned by practice, so jump in and start contributing to Wasabi. I think the main difference is we have teams now. In the time of 1.0 there were no teams. Anyone could take any task to work on, someone reviewed and approved it and it got merged. Now, if someone opens a pull request that, for example, modifies something on the UI, still anyone can review and approve it, but it cannot be merged until someone from the UI team approves it. Before the release, literally everyone's keyboard was on fire. Everyone knew what they had to work on and it was actually great to see how effective the team was. And after the release, I don't know, because the day before I went on a holiday, I left the board. I believe in five years the coin join will be more popular and we can safely say there is no other coin join technology in the market like Wabi Sabi. So I hope we can run it as a service in the future so other wallets can integrate and use it as well. The more people join, the more effective coin joins can be. Everything because it should be the default. I mean, no one should worry whether they are protected or not. Everyone should be fully and safe, at least in the online world. And if you are using Wasabi for your Bitcoins, you already did a huge step to achieve it. It is the label-based coin selection. Um, with this new method, you don't have to deal with amounts, coins, and manual selection and other stuff. You just need to click on entities like 
hey, I don't want this person to know about my transaction and that's all, everything else is happening in the background. It completely changed my whole life. The way the people are thinking here is, you know, they are like the old man in the village, the old wise man. No matter what is the topic, they can always say something new that you didn't think about. And slowly, day by day, I adopt this mentality. Of course, still long way to go, but I already feel that I live my life in a different way. I consider things more wisely and I make better decisions. Uh, I even have a Bitcoin related picture on the wall uh, in my living room that reminds me of Wasabi and how it changed my life. Thank you very much. Thank you.